In this series, we tell the story of a single month of frontier violence in the 1820s New South Wales Hunter Valley. Plans to expand a Glencore coal mine and relocate a colonial property have local Aboriginal groups up in arms. Archaeologists and traditional owners believe that the Ravensworth homestead was used as a staging ground for a series of atrocities against the Wannara people. In the Hunter Valley, the frontier violence is alive in the oral histories of Wannara people, generations later. Gran went on with this story and she didn't just tell it to us, it was all of us, but they're, they're all over the place now, basically. Mm. They were down at Bowman's Creek and, and they seen these people coming over on the horse and and the, carrying their... Um, Guns and stuff? Yes. Mm. I'm, got, I'm starting to get emotional, sorry. But it was a family yeah. member that had had, the, had these kids and they obviously they've scooped them up and, and ran for their lives to try and hide from them. And um, they were, two of the little children were shot and um, the, the mother was um, thrown on the back of the, the horse and she was stabbed. That's all I can say. And they, um, some of the other other people, hooked, um, hid up in the, um, in up in the gullies and that through the Bowman's Creek mm. to get away from them all. One such brutal attack takes place on September first, eighteen twenty six, in the wake of the deadly Wannara raid on Richard Alcorn's hut. Magistrate Robert Scott leads a party of soldiers, stockmen and Aboriginal trackers to hunt down the supposed perpetrators. Their birthing grounds and places of refuge are still known today. These men that came from these were effectively the warriors within the tribe group. This was their safe haven. This is where all their spiritual beliefs came from. That's why they were here all the time. They would practice here for calling in their their spirit protectors mm. to guide them. That's why the men went back this way. They were coming to, to, to hide, get back. They believed probably at the time that the, the Europeans couldn't see them. That's why that bloodline of men are only ever born here. But this time, there was no safe haven. Seeing the light of the Aboriginal campfires, the armed men move in through the trees. But when spotted by the families, a tracker is struck in the face by a spear and the rest of the party attack. At least 18 Wannara men, women and children are killed and two are captured, according to the Australian newspaper at the time. The Blacks have had the glory of dying in battle and that is enough, the paper reported. This whole history, this entire landscape with its cultural connections, its graves and its artefacts is set to be erased for another climate destroying coal mine. If we allow this to happen, despite the demands for protection from the Wannara people, can we really say we are a more just society now than then? Please sign the petition, contact the minister, and together let's stand with country.